Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty as today we face the number 13 ranked LSU Tigers. Bangle plays the Bayou Bengals. We got a top 15 matchup. Or, well, we're not top 15, but we're facing one. They're pretty good. 95 overall. Is that better than Notre Dame? I can't quite remember. But this is the now 2017 roster. Because this was 2016 to begin with. So, we're going to be facing probably a really, really solid LSU offense. Led by, I'm sure, Leonard Fournette. Yeah, well, we know that he's back, I guess. He, was, uh, he won the Heisman. And he's back for, what is it, senior year now? They have Arden Key, Jamal Adams as well. <laughs> so this team is stacked. At least 399 overalls. And we have uh, our three best players, two of which don't play because they're not eligible. They have to sit out a season as transfers. And then we have Colby Spencer. He will have to lead us to the promised land today. No real notable injuries. And, uh, yeah, pray for me. We have a top five pass offense in the nation. But LSU is ranked very highly with their rushing attack. Number six rush offense, number six in rushing touchdowns. Don't be scared of Mike the Tiger, Ryan Muller. We need you to relax because you're going to be playing a bunch of Tigers all game long. Here we are live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Death Valley, Tiger Stadium. I'm sure we won't win the coin toss, but we'll try anyway. Of course we didn't. We It's never do. If it heads or tails, without fail, we fail. We will return. This is where I lie to you and say I can't wait to set the tone and pace of the game. I love to return. And also, I don't know if you guys saw that uh, microscopic Ozark State fan base in one section over there. The stadium is packed, of course, with LSU Tiger fans. And why wouldn't they be? This is, this is a big game for the Tigers. A red-hot Ozark State Outlaw team. But just like Outlaws, we're going to come out guns blazing. And of course, uh, I get a lot of questions. Ozark State Outlaws, they're based in Louisiana. I didn't make this team. I downloaded it from the Team Builder section. And whoever made it just plunked Ozark State in Louisiana. Which, all right, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. We're just going to have to play our game today. Take what LSU gives us. They're a very, very fast team. That's what you get when you play these superstar teams. They're all very, very fast. But you know who else is fast? Colby Spencer. We're going to have to lean on him a lot today. Also going to turn on conservative catching so they catch the ball. And on defense, I'm going to go conservative for tackling and maybe aggressive for zone coverage because I think they're going to really try uh, and run the ball. We saw their rankings. They don't throw the ball particularly well. So it's going to be on the defensive line to step up today. Here's second and one. Read option. Colby Spencer. How are you not outrunning him? Who made that play? Who's 97 on this team? Frank Heron. And it is third down and one. I also should mention I made a change to the uh, to the sliders before the season started and don't worry it's still all Heisman 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 but as far as the custom AI goes I had all 40 and I had the CPU all at 60 now everything's been 50 out like you'll see my pals uh, Drew and and Crow do uh, except for interceptions I have at 70 it doesn't matter they will drop them all anyway uh, we might even see an instance in this game where that happens I'm telling you we get an interception like once every three games so I really wouldn't worry about it too much. But Darren Maxwell is open in the flat. Tried to juke. He wasn't receptive to it. Wasn't responsive. And didn't do it. But we get the first down. So I don't care. We're moving the chains. We have to start the game with a touchdown. Because we can pretty much safely assume LSU is going to answer. These are what these top teams do. They answer. They score touchdowns. We need points on the board early. And I say... I'm going to play conservative, and here I go, sending multiple streaks on the field. But, you know, I go to the slant. Wide open. 
It's the tight end, Jake Rodriguez. Some people have complained about his number being 46, but I don't particularly mind it. Plus, that was his number as a freshman last year. I think he was a freshman. Uh, so I don't really want to change it now. I don't mind 46 that much. My favorite for college players is the single-digit numbers, but those are currently claimed. Um, like, you see Ryan Muller here. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. I sneeze. Hurts with the nose, but we're going down to Karan Kirkpatrick, number one on the field and number one in your heart. Also number one in the depth chart, I'm sure, much to the chagrin of uh, Ryan Muller, of Roland Francisco, of course of Rob Gaither, who's come on lately. And that was almost a touchdown. That was an incredible spin move. We're going to go handoff here. Scott Lewis, decent move, small game. Gaither. Back in the end zone. Touchdown. Here we go. We're throwing it. It's intercepted by Fulton. It wasn't open, and I I wanted to call my shot. He got very little separation. Ball, obviously, slightly underthrown. Not much you can do about an NCAA. There's no high point passing. So, uh, yeah. Sucks to suck for me. And that's the ball game. Because LSU is going to never stop. Look at Leonard Fournette go. I, I, oh, can you not? Can you not? Can someone please tackle him? It's a 66-yard gain. I have no idea how I'm going to stop this team. That's just the first play of the game. Oh, it's read option. Shut it down. Thank you. That's Sandoval Slaughter. We don't call his name that often. And this is his first year starting. That's a pretty good play. Third and seven. Please. That's uh, not, 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 not what I wanted. It's DJ Chark. Current Jags receiver. I liked him a lot at LSU. Now playing against him. I, I wish he wasn't here, obviously. That's, that's tough. Seven nothing LSU. They answer immediately. Someone's got to get open. I'm going to throw that ball. It's Rob Gaither. Drops it. When we roll out, though, a lot of these routes get back open across the field in these scramble drills. And I feel like that's where we can really take advantage of LSU because it's unpredictable. For example, like if that was a good throw, that would have been big. Third and ten. Rolling out again. And we step out with Colby Spencer. I'm going for it. I'm staying aggressive. I know this is a foolish decision, perhaps, on fourth and two. But you know what? It's a short line to gain. I think we can do it. And we can do it like that. Roland Francisco. First down. That's what I'm talking about. Being aggressive and having it pay off. That's quick throw. It's Gerard Sharp. That's, that's open. Quincy Rust holds on. Ooh, I want Gaither. We're going over the top. Beat him! Rob Gaither, touchdown! I need that ball to be thrown deeper out. But let's go, baby. We answer the LSU Tigers with a score of our own. It should be 14-7. to We can't make mistakes. Tied up at 7. Defense, I need you to play. I really do. To run? No, please. Thank you. Kachow. Slightly McQueen. I like that. Not a tackle for loss, but a good play nonetheless. If we hold LSU to a few yards a gain, or per carry, or well, either or would work. A few yards per play. Who is Stovall? Who is this fella? McMillan goes down. I think it was number 90. It was Simeon Petty, the defensive tackle, making the play. He had a big breakout game last year. Can't remember who he was against. If you don't want the comments, definitely be sure to let me know. That's a great play right there. And it, uh, it is now third down and 12. LSU one for one on third down so far. Let's go ahead and use her Tariq Parrish. Ah, uh, that's not... That's, that's my bad, honestly. That's my bad. I guess technically Tariq Parrish should have been over there. 
that's the one route that really kills us because Derek Higgins got run so far off the route he needs to get better his numbers are not bad he just needs to be better that's the end of the first quarter we're playing LSU tight we're playing them close but we need to get better if our defense can hold I'm confident the offense can score on LSU I'm confident Colby Spencer is too much of a threat the dual threat QB can beat you in so many different ways LSU has no answer for him the thing is we have no answer for this guy Leonard Fournette that's the problem he's averaging his jersey number per carry or well 20s in the league he's only number seven here I wish he was only averaging seven at LSU McMillan gonna take off switch on nah he's, he's, he's punching the face this trash LSU two-lane transfer QB is giving us troubles let's think about that for a minute no not Danny Etling who's a beast obviously Leonard Fournette is so so good in the backfield it's a read option and it's shut down is that Jeff Fisher it is number 30 great great play from the middle linebacker brings up second and ten I want to send heat but it's, it doesn't work it don't work bro second and ten they're passing no it's over the middle to Moreau he breaks a tackle it's finally wrestled down it was third and three Foster Moreau that's a name Justin McMillan is killing it this is a, a again a two-lane transfer and you couldn't even play LSU or a quarterback at LSU and they're terrible they're going deep first of all that was a terrible throw second of all where is my defense where are they we managed to hold them to a field goal we're very lucky wow that was like almost trailing right oh miss trying to upset Auburn we'll put them on upset watch but we're getting the football back five and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter time to answer the offense has looked really good we have we just we didn't capitalize oh my god the ankle tackle that saves a touchdown. That was Dante Jackson. There we go. Great pitch. Got me five yards. I'll take that. I want to throw to X, dude. I'm still going to do it. We got him. It's Karan Kirkpatrick. I want to go Gaither. I want to go Rodriguez. I'm going to settle for the running back. Scott Lewis. Went Meant to uh, throw that harder. Didn't hold it. So that's on me. Rolling out. Go, Colby. We're just going to take it out of bounds. This play is not going to be successful. Hold on. We got blocks. We got to spin back. Define success. Is three yards successful? I don't think so. Lewis! Oh my goodness, that was a very risky throw. It paid off because it's now third and inches, basically on the goal line. I'm actually shocked that didn't get across there. And I think LSU is going to stack the box, so we are going to pass. And I'm looking for Jake Rodriguez. Karan Kirkpatrick on a drag might not be a terrible decision, but we're rolling out. Rodriguez is open. But we're going to take it with Spencer. Just short. No, we can pick up the first down. But that was it. I think the throw to Jake Rodriguez was just uh, not the right decision. It was too close to call. It was too dicey. I didn't like it. We're going to have a touchdown here, though. Show. That's Pedro Goddard. What are we doing? Where is my guy? Abdominal strain. We don't have Durham Maxwell. We don't have Colby Spencer. We still have Hart. No, don't catch it like that. Colby Spencer's coming in the game right now. Um, could have run the ball maybe, but I don't trust us against this uh, against this LSU front. I really don't. And I've almost thrown an interception right there. That's oh man. Again, lucky. I want to go for it. 
I want to go for it all the time. I think we can get it. Do we tie it up? Or do we play aggressive? And I think everything good that we've done over this season has been from playing aggressive. We're going read option. And we're scoring a touchdown. Colby Spencer! He's just too slow. God! That's just shed. You need to hold the block, dude. That's an easy touchdown. And we've done it again. We've managed to get this close and not managed to score. Should I have taken my points? Yeah, in hindsight, of course. But I want to stay aggressive and win the game. Oh my god, safety! Safety! Let's go, baby! Don't doubt me! That's kind of at myself, because I, I don't know. Whatever. That's a safety. Is that exactly how you draw it up? Let's go. 10 to 9. This is anybody's ball game. All right, Scott Lewis back in the game. Wish we really didn't have to take a hit with him. But uh, he gets hit six. There we go, Rust. Quincy Rust shakes off the Rust. Gets another reception. That's a great juke from Scott Lewis. I almost suck. That was a bad read. That's what I do, though, so don't worry about it. Oh, no. Get up, Colby. He's not moving. I didn't even try to take a hit there. I tried to throw it. I mean, we got the throw off. 20 seconds left, pretty much. We're going to fit that in. Uh, yep. That's open. On the run. Jake Rodriguez gets out of bounds. Picks up eight. Colby Spencer out for a quarter. Guess what? Goddard's in the game for the end of the second quarter. I will settle for the field goal now. And we will get five points instead of three. It was a very calculated effort. I do want the touchdown, though. I cannot stress that enough. There we go. Gaither, why are you stopping? I tried to power through. It was holding forward. It's second and inches, though. His third catch of the game. Already is a touchdown. We're on the one. It's got to be read option. I just hate to run against a stack box. There we go. Pedro Goddard. Touchdown. Let's get it. And we're going to go for two as well. Why would we not go for two? I like this a bit better. I'm going to move Rodriguez out. Just kind of give me another option. Also, it spaces things a bit. No, I want it. I want it out. There we go. We have a couple routes coming across the field. I'm gonna put Lewis in a curl and hope something gets open. That's open, and it's just not where it needs to be. I mean, I hit off Scott Lewis's kneecap. I thought I had the slant. I thought that was the best read, and it doesn't pay off. We have a five-point lead. What a weird half this has been. 15 to 10 in favor of the Ozark State Outlaws, and LSU's gonna get the football back. It could have been 16-10. I wanted to make it a touchdown game. So, even though it didn't work out, hope you understand the decision. You're going to throw the ball. How about you throw the ball to me? Okay, DJ Chark is not me. McQueen, read option. Please! We make the ankle tackle. Should have been, should have been not that. Should have been tackled in the backfield. Here's a run. That's going to be open. It's going to be a touchdown. Please just go after him, Tariq. What are you doing? To run, Dante Jean wraps up. Only a gain of three. Tackle, 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 tackle. Okay, great. Hey, I'll take that. That's going to be a field goal try. Byron Fulton, big play. Etling with the hold. Field goal is good. 15-13. Uh, that's, that's uh, okay. That's all right. I want to throw to Rodriguez. Oh my goodness. The luck is real. Or I should say, what a skillful throw on the run. Rodriguez, streak, to touchdown. To, I can't really throw to both of them, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'd hit him in the kneecap. Damn, I, I actually had that. That was a two on one. That's not exactly how it plays out in football. I almost want to do that again. We'd have to catch him in the same defense, which would be unlikely. 
But I like those jump balls where they... Well, hold on. That safety is going to be tough to deal with. I like those one-on-one uh, -on -one jump balls where we can come back to the football. Didn't work out there because we got blitzed heavy, but still. All right, third and ten. Uh, we're going to have to check down to Scott Lewis. And fall forward, fourth and inches. You guys know the deal. This team goes for a fourth down from midfield, obviously. Ooh, don't want to run a read option here. We'll go ahead and change that. I also don't want to run this play. Jamal Adams is going to blitz. We're going to change the defense around. Is he still going to blitz? Gaither is going to be on a drag. We got to snap the ball. We got to roll out. We got space. Colby Spencer. I'll take it. There we go. Rob Gaither. Love it. Flat, open, Francisco. Yikes. Ah, I wanted Rodriguez quick. We're going to settle for that one, though. Touchdown. The tight end finds the end zone. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, indeed. And we will actually kick the extra point this time. Because this forces the hand of LSU. This is a nine-point game now. Read option. No, please. 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 No! McMillan! Come back! It's just some routine questioning. God. 76-yard touchdown run. And, um, yeah. They're right back in this. I'm actually kind of surprised they're not going for two. Because a touchdown for us still leads to a nine-point game. There we go, Jake. Give me the stiff arm. All right. Spencer. Arden Key a bitch. Open over the middle. Gaither gathers it. Yeah, play the running back, idiot. <laughs> Got him. Uh, am I riding a little bit too high right now? Up two? <laughs> I think so. It's one mistake away from losing the game and then crying. Rolling out. And we're going to go ahead and stiff arm. That's a grown man stiff arm. Little boy, get off me. It's a Greg Jamie's most daring, daring shop. One of the most hardest hit safeties in the league, though. Give me Scott Lewis. Hell yeah, baby. First down. Scott? Scott Lewis? Scott Lewis! End zone! Touchdown! That's the end of the third quarter. And we got a two-score lead. 29-20. I'm, I'm calling it. Before we even kick it. Oh, man, it was almost blocked. It's been a close game, <laughs> points-wise. We've obviously dominated possession, and we still can't close out the Tigers, as Georgia Tech is in a hell of a game with Syracuse right now. Where is my game clock, by the way? Can I? Oh, no. Can I have that? Can I have the game clock? No, it's disappeared. Where did it go? Can I have it back? I'm going to go into replay mode see if it brings it back. You just like change the scenery? There we go. Throw it at me. Throw it at me. No one's on that. That's a decent tackle, though. I need time to tick off this clock ASAP. We are on the verge of a killer upset. Please. It's a read option. I, I recognized... It ain't matter. Justin, I, like, I'm kind of goofing around right now, verbally. I, I should be way nervous. This is this is a bad spot for us. They're gonna score. There's a lot of time left. They're dominating possession when they want to. Please tackle. Oh my lord, he's gone. No, 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 no. 50 yard touchdown. This is what I'm talking about. I think they should go for two. They're not going to, though. Uh, because a field goal would put them ahead. Why would they go for two? I don't I don't know why I said that. They should. They, there's like pretty much no scenario where it works out. Unless, like, if we score another touchdown, it would work for them there. Because then a field goal, I believe, would tie. And, or something. I don't know. Don't worry about whatever I'm mumbling right now. It is late. 
and I'm not a math guy anyway. But it is time for conservative tempo. Let's end the game. There we go. Scott Lewis. Hand off. It's Darren Maxwell. Look at the weave. Colby on the run. Finding Roland Francisco. Let's get it. We're just going to keep running the ball. Slide. Slide, Colby. Do not step out of bounds. You know what it does when you step out of bounds, Colby? Stop the clock. It stops the clock. Does that help us? Oh, wait. No, I, I guess it didn't register. It should have. Maybe it only does under two minutes or something. I could have sworn it stopped the clock in the fourth quarter. Wide open. Scott Lewis. Look at the shake and bake. I ought to start calling him Cal Naughton Jr. Colby. Colby. Just go down, Colby! Not without the ball! No! 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 Already keyed down the sideline. I'm spamming slide. No! And it's up the middle. I don't really even know why they went for two there. Oh, Leonard Fournette. I wish it was Leonard Fournette in the game. Kobe Spencer bruises ankle. I hope you broke it after that fumble. You're going in the game, Colby. Make up for your mistake. Oh, RB was so open. And I throw an interception to Monroe. No! RB was wide open. And I suck so bad. I knew, I saw it and I pressed it anyway. I saw RB and I still hit A. Imagine. You gotta be kidding me. You... Do we have anyone that fucking comes to play? I sh Imagine throwing away this game like I just did. Comical. It's a, it's a joke. Go down. You have... Uh, I hate this game so much! 504 total yards, and we're going to lose the game. Oh my, I'm going to be sick. The time, this shit, we're just running out. We're running out of time. I, I know I have Rodriguez over the top. I'm going to throw that ball, and it's intercepted by Kevin Tolliver. Four turnovers. Four turnovers. We had the game. That's the game. I really can't believe it. I know. I knew I was going to lose the game anyway. It's just in the way that it happened, dude. The LSU offense was so overpowered. It's not even funny. We were in position to win. We were up late in the game. In a position one touchdown would have done it. We roll out of the pocket. I can't slide. And and we fumble the ball. I can't even tell you how frustrating that is. That's gotta be that's gotta be the most frustrating play in the history of my playing uh NCAA 14. Or honestly, maybe even any gun or any game gun. I, I wish I could shoot myself in the head. This play. This play. The reason I was passing the ball here. Is because it was effective. And we didn't have Scott Lewis. I didn't trust Darren Maxwell. I have this space. I step up and I try to slide. Right here. He fumbles the ball. And it's recovered for a massive touchdown. I'm, I'm just going to be sick with that garbage. And then on the interception near the end of the game. This one... Ultra frustrating because I see Jake Rodriguez. I'm watching him and then right here Right here, I think the safety is gonna take this route That's just what I read because usually that's what happens. I start to throw it right Boom slightly before here right here Safety starts to drift towards Rodriguez which would have left RB wide open this player would have come over and made the tackle. 
But still, it would have been it would have been a pretty good game. Ah, you know what? He might have. He probably would have come over anyway because this game's broken. But I just I am so frustrated. I know choke 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 whatever. I can't believe we were in that game, let alone in a position to win. It's just I can't lose that. I can't lose that game. Thank you guys for watching. I know I'm whining like a bitch. Whatever. I'm sure you guys would take this like like a like you know an upstanding individual. Oh Jesus! I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. This one this one hurts actually. It actually hurts. Thank you.